Good evening, dear viewers. You're watching WTV English News. I'm Ibtihar Rukavi. The House of Representatives failed in holding an, its an extraordinary session to discuss the file of the electoral process. A statement by the media department of the parliament explained their meeting was to be held at the request of a number of MPs who intend to focus on the transparency and integrity of the electoral work explaining the reason of failing is a lack of quorum and this was the house of representatives has failed to hold its extraordinary session last saturday for the same reason the parliamentary legal committee revealed the, the involvement of the electoral commission in cooperation with the kurdistan democratic party and the national union and foreign parties to rig elections and replace the ballot boxes of Kurdistan committee. Member Zina Sayyid said that the commission's failure to investigate the results of the final and match with the tapes came to cover the crime or fraud, indicating that the ruling parties in the region have obtained the results which have been planned already. The Ministry of Electricity predicted the continuation of electricity crisis for another 20 years in the country if chaos continues in the distribution process. A spokesman of the Ministry, Mus'ab al mudarris pointed to the loss of 60% of production of, of electric power because of theft and encouragement noting that the ministry has limited authority and cannot succeed alone, confirming that the ministry work needs to support by all ministries and provinces. On the other hand, the Ministry of Electricity released the director of Karbala Electricity, Mohammed Fadl, on the background of the recent events in the province. Karbala province witnessed a protest demonstration by citizens to denounce the lack of electricity supply to the city. Clashes erupted between demonstrators and the riot police when they tried to storm the house of Karbala governor. The delegation of Kurdistan Democratic Parties and the Patriotic Union of Kurdistan held a consultative meeting in the capital of Baghdad to discuss the developments of forming the next government. The two parties confirmed the importance of unifying the Kurdish parties to preserve the gains of Kurdistan region in their negotiation to form government. This delegation met with the President Fuad Ma'soum, Parliament Speaker Salim Jabouri and Prime Minister Haider Labadi and number of the officials and the leaders of political blocs. A member of the Ambar Provincial Council, Mahdi Al Mahlawi, announced the release of Naim Gaud, head of the Ambar Security Committee, hours after he was kidnapped in Turkey. The Council of Ambar Province announced the kidnapping of the head of security committee and Council Naim Gaud during his presence in Turkey by people claimed to be an investment company belonging to a neighboring country. Foreign Ministry spokesman Ahmed Mahjoub said the ministry had followed up with the Turkish authorities Al Gaud case since the first hour of his abduction. A number of Daesh elements were killed and wounded after being frustrated in the northeast of Diyala province. A statement to popular mobilization explained that the military sector killed two elements of Daesh and wounded four others during attack on the village of Um Hanta on the skirts of Jalawla, indicating that the security forces have taken full control of the scene. That's all for tonight. Thank you for watching and have a good night.